Well, a very good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Imagine Cruising 2024 World Indoor Bowls Championships. We're once again live from Potters Resorts here in Hopton on Sea. So let's have a look what we have coming up. It's the final of the World Mixed Pairs. It's the current defending champions, Stuart Anderson and Kerry Anglen, taking on Nick Brett and Julie Forrest. So that's what we have for the rest of the day then. So following this game, round about three o'clock, we'll be back to the World Open singles, Robert Paxton against Darren Weir. And then at 7.30, English qualifier John Wilson will play Stuart Anderson. Hope you have a great afternoon. We're going to go live now and join the BBC. Thank you very much, Rishi. Yes, let's bring out the first of our pairs for this, the World Mixed Pairs final. And first out, we have a Scottish and English pair with 11 WBT titles between them. They have both previously held the Mixed Pairs trophy, featuring a two times World Ladies Match Play winner and former World Open singles champion. Give it up for Julie Forrest and Nick Brett. Their opponents this afternoon were our last year's winners. An Welsh and Scottish pairing featuring a former Ladies World Match Play champion and a man who yesterday lifted his seventh World Championship trophy. Welcome out the defending champions, Kerry Ann Glenn and Stuart Anderson. Thank you, Rishi. Sean has sprinted up and is here now, so uh, we'll get off from this match. It'll be an intriguing battle, there's no doubt about that, but there's going to be no weaknesses when it comes to pressure simply because they're four so experienced players. <coughs> International level for many, many years. Julie Forrest that is uh, and a, half meters. a very good outdoor player as well and recognised in many ways in that field. She is really the most experienced in terms of titles of all sorts when it comes to the indoor game. So many national and British Isles and what used to be the World Indoor Bowls Council. Hang around now. Or the I IB, IIPC, which is the International Indoor Bowls Council. We love to change names every now and again, Shannon, don't we? Just to confuse 
everybody. keep everybody on their toes, doesn't it? Yeah, Julie's won that, that event that's been renamed back to back as well, which is a phenomenal achievement. Just a run here. Wind's good. Come on. <coughs> yeah, not much good, man. You have to come. Same again, mate. Wind's good. I think Nikki will be very happy with that. Brilliant opening end from Julie Forrest. Two really good bowls. Close. Very good. Good yeah, ball. Well done. Well, they're both using swinging balls and that just didn't fade like in. I think Kerry was expecting it to because it looked to me like she was on a fairly low line. Yeah, it seemed to stick. It started bending quite late. Good second ball. One green. Just show him one, Nikki. Two gold pairs is a very exacting discipline. You have to work as a combination. Stats do. That's that. Not much, just that. Two feet in front. Am I under that or around it? Isn't I would say... Uh, Whichever one I can get. Well, it kind of looks right in your road, but okay. either side. The communication between the pair is very important in this. So we'll try and listen to them as much as we possibly can. You've only got to nibble that to make it shot. Yeah, Slightly narrower line. Head up. Head up. A little bit of extra on, weight. Sue. Close here. Just a little bit. Get little down little. now. Touch, Touch yeah. is good. Got it. Yeah, well. very good. Played that really well. Harry Ann told him to trust himself before he bowled it and he uh, he listened. Just coming in, turning the one Carrie Ann's so red ball one once to take the first shot and the opening end of this set. Well, it's a difficult shot. Just with that extra bit of weight quite often holds off. But he was on a low line, fairly narrow line. Oh, really? 11 ends, of course. And two okay. sets in the final. Three end tie break. No timeouts as there's no shot clock involved. So it's a fairly lengthy game of. 22 ends. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. <laughs> and then of course if the three end tie break after that might be needed. So we'll probably expect to, if it's a close game, at least two hours. Just these in here. 
Die zijn helemaal baard. En swing voor hem. Swing voor hem. Die zijn open daar. Goed dan. Play, dude, a great start, mate. Well played. Well played. Uh, of course, uh, Kiriana and Julie play against each other in the singles. Yeah, they do, yeah, tomorrow. So it's uh, there won't be any real psychological balance or, or, or battle here because they're, they're far too experienced. Just stop. But it's more time on the rink. Same ball, mate. Gets you. Julie's always had that little push delivery. It never, it never varies. Now. The car bend. Well played. Very good. Very good. Good head of balls from both these leads. Two creatures. Just coming in, sitting down on Carrie Ann's boat. Hutton Rugby, a rugby balls <coughs> club. Not rugby, rugby. Very stylish. In the for the balls world. Yeah, I think the colour, the addition of colour in the last few years has been a a really great help for the Close image here. of the sport. Close here. How do you on that line? Oh. Yes, we don't. Even in, at home in league matches and cup matches, we don't wear whites. You know, it's well, certainly in my club, it's all track suits and shorts and hoodies and whatever else you want to wear. But they're all club orientated, so it does look quite impressive. You got this. Come It's going down low very quickly as well. Adjustments will be made. Come on, I've got. Lines all over it. Well, I'm surprised at that. Not only very good about putting that extra bit of weight on, but no damage done. So it's score one, two, after two ends. Jack leg, 28 metres. Right to us now, Judy. Right to us. Well played. Well played. Brilliant opening bowl from Judy Forrest. In front of the jack. Is 
sorry, Stu. It's the right side. Uh, he said sorry, but Stuart's absolutely right when he said it's the right side because you're that's behind, fine. and that's fine. Well, a ball behind the jack whenever the opposition is that close is always going to be useful because you might be attacking it at some stage. Hope I'm just slipping past that one out. Would be ideal. Oh, well done, well done, real good. Mm, sat it down as well. I was really a bit worried there because if she'd have hit it with that weight, it would have bunched the jack right out. Yeah, the jack moves quite a long way if you if you make connection. It pings across the rink. Don't have pace now. He's in here. He's in here. He's in here. Great effort. Good day for Spot near your foot, is it? Yep, sorry. <laughs> Nicky just asking him what, in what position. <laughs> well, it was Kerry Ham standing where he wanted to be. Cover the scene. Okay, that's a it's cover. a bit short from what he wanted. It's going down on the spot, just throw it there. Down on a very straight looking line. It's okay. Next one. It didn't actually move far. Well, more a case of the pace, isn't it? <coughs> this is more like the draw line. Come on, Nikki. Up. So you want to be behind ah. the jack, you do want to free the jack. Oh, very good very, very good, Nicky Brett. Wow. Well, there's no choice now. He <laughs> knows that they're going to have to hit it. And he doesn't have position on that side. I know. Which means that if so Stuart hits this properly, he could get two shots out of it. Yeah. It's going the wrong side for them. It's going the right side for Red. This will be reasonably quick. Nice, yeah. Hitting something. Yeah, well, well took two out. Yeah, good result, two gone. Okay. Hit the target. Hit it well. One shot, Brett and Forrest. Just Set catching the outside ball. Two away from a three count is good. Eight and a half metres. Great, did a great start again. Julie Forrest finding it really well. Very strong opening bowls the last couple of ends. Just stop. 
Na mal spun ja. All the way to us now. Come on. They did it. Well played. Well, she certainly found the range. I thought about that. Just missed that. Problem mm. there is, and well, it's, it's covered from a spot on one side, but you know what it is, Sean. You miss that line by just a few inches, and it just takes you away. Yeah, I mean, in reality, like you say, she's missed that with sort of half a ball, ball at the most, and it's gone across the head, and that's the problem. The, mi the margins are so fine. I think that's what she's saying there to, to Dan, the uh, Dan Blute marker for this match that if you just miss your line by a ball it's a very cruel whip across the head Where you're standing. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Take your time, there's no rush. Put it in the computer. <laughs> We're on till five, I think. Mean, you can't cover everything, can you? That's the thing. Uh, early doors, go on. Mm -hmm. It's always difficult to know, but you have no back position, and with someone like Stuart Dan. Anderson, you're always saying, mm, maybe we need that. I think he'll just draw this, because the third shot's a, a distance away. Oh, what happened there? Somebody must have moved, It'll be one of the players, possibly, just moving out of the way. It does happen occasionally. Yep, yeah, reset, go again. Back to the draw here with uh, we thought he'd play. Settle. She's saying settle. 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 That looks Knuckle. good to me. It's very Go good here. Hey. Oh, played a good right one. Second too. ball. Great ball, Stuart. Again, I'd just like taking twice. the count away. The second yeah. end in a row. Yeah, he took two off the last end. He's taking another two off this end. Keeping things fairly tight. One shot, Bracken Forest. <coughs> Set score, one four after four innings. Just getting over the seam there for second bolt. Well, two big balls, Shan. This could have been eight one just as easily. Yes, yeah, a huge difference in the score line. Two good balls from Stewart with his last deliveries, both ends to cut down counts of three to singles. Yeah, yeah you can see one move. Jack leg, 26 and a half metres. <laughs> right up again, dude. Right. Well played, great start. Oh, could she really keep this standard up? There's with his daughter Alex. She's just seen herself on the big screen. She's very funny. She's a great sense of humour. She's just about to turn 18, I think. Yeah, he's good. 
Just as tasty, I think. Not it's much. Can't wait yet. It's good. Good opener. I'm done. Maybe do the can. Doesn't look far away. It's beat all of mine so far. <laughs> Well done. Julie's well been pretty relentless, hasn't she? Oh, she's playing very well. There's no doubt, very consistent. You know, gets you off to a good start. It's a long game to try and keep that standard up. Well, it's a confidence thing as well. If you're playing well, just continue. Uh, which really good. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, I'll join you in a minute. And once again, Nick Brett will be playing a covering ball. And Stuart Anderson will be playing a recovery ball. Yep. Nick just trying to if he can cover and count as well. So much the better. Needs to hurry. Oh, it's at least four feet from where he really wanted to be, and it's widened the target. They're a bit exposed now because there's a target for Stewart, and they've got the back position. We are not messing about with this. Needs to hang on to the line yeah, though. Yeah, needs a good connection. Good wow. wait for it, Stewart. It's opened it up. That's the only thing. This ball's jack high here. This one behind that. Yeah, Stuart just getting the, the front spot. bowl first, which he didn't want. He wanted the middle bowl as a minimum. Still two down. Could be three down. So I need to get past the reds then, really. Yep. Yeah, that's, tactically, it's the right thing to do. They've now got a deep green ball. Not worried about that on one side, but the other side where Julie is actually standing at the moment, beach. they need something over there past the red ones. <laughs> Doesn't stop the yard trail, but it's a harder shot than playing into it with a stronger weight. So. Yeah, by putting that ball there, Nick Brett's forcing Stewart to play that a lot neater to pick up a maximum count. Nearly enough there for the whole team. Forest. Set score one six after five in. Still a long way to go in this set, 11 hours, so plenty of time to get back from a five shot deficit. Played again. All the way in. All the way in. Mickey Brett must be thinking, yeah, I'll take this all day from the first end. Yeah, skip stream and your lead finds it straight away. Still there, yeah. Just going to go under here. Wish really good. Good effort. Yeah. Good ball under.
further the run the better now and again Patient close here. Come on, back home now. Just got off the line. Come on, down. Bend your best. Yeah, great effort. Oh, really good try again. Just not quite finishing. No, and it's a pretty full end. It was 28 and a half metres. They should be bending right back in. And they're precisely the same bowls as uh, Julie Forrest playing with. But a slightly different delivery, and that can make that can make a difference when you're trying to find centre rink. I wonder whether Kerry Ann might change her, change the side she's playing, just try and reset. If you're struggling to hit centre of the rink, it's sometimes just as well to try something dif different, isn't it? And I think Nicky Brett's using the same balls as Julie Forrest. That's a set of four, so exactly. they're using two each. He's up a wee bit, well played now. That's a good look at them. And I, have a feeling, I wonder if they're the birds. We call them the birds because they are a well-known set of balls that the tour have in stock for players to use. Halt! Halt a bit longer. Yeah. That's what happens when you pinch it, yeah. Unlucky, Stu. We gave it a chance. Yeah. Just want that weight, you do. Still there again. Back spot. Judy, could you show me where it is, please? Not saying I'm going to get near it, but that's. <laughs> Julie just pointing her toe on the re spot position. We better. Julie Anderson decides to yeah, play a runner at this. Yeah, not that like this. you do. Otherwise, Learn. just give it a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty close, isn't it? Very good. Put you onto it. Covers the re spot. Oh, again. What? I Somebody is, is moving. He's very quick on the mat at the moment as well, so uh, just wants to get on with it, but something's happening. Good way to come back off this Sticking side. Sticking to the draw here. I think the line's Drop. better. Drop harder. Just hang by. Come oh. on. It's not. It's oh, coming, coming now. Back now. Oh, Ooh, oh, well, second shot oh. again, I think. Brilliant. Brilliant, but. Fancy it? Yeah, I think so. Might want to take it, Joe. Very yeah. close. <laughs> Very close for shot. But again, it's a recovery yeah, ball, last ball. <laughs> last ball, getting them out of a bit of trouble again. Thank you for the red. It's close. It's close. Just a measure. Umpire, please. <coughs> this one away? Yep. Measure for shot. Just at the last moment, it came back there and then dropped again. It but was a very late bend, wasn't it? But very good ball. Mm. might need a well, chat about what, what lengths to play, but another uh, good ball for Stuart six Anderson. Six yeah. He said hit you with Jack, Jim. <laughs> it's what you expect, of course, of somebody of that caliber. Uh, there's only four shots in this, and it could have been so much different. Yeah, he saved seven shots over three ends, um, all with his final bowls. <laughs> That's what they get. Yeah. Uh, get two balls, the last ball is always the vital one in many ways, but uh, chasing the game at the moment. Uh. 
jet lag, 27 metres. So we're aiming for something around about the 25, it's gone on by a couple of metres to 27. It's all about the, the first ball now, try and get it close. On that inside line. So you wanted a jack? Yeah. Just that inside line. Yeah. yeah close to you. Can I be a wee bit, Nick? That's all right. Don't do it again. <laughs> All you got now, and again, and again. Yeah, it's good enough for shot. There's Moon Lai, in Hong Kong, his mum, played last night, and 15 year old. Qualified when he was 14 years of age in Hong Kong and has made the trip. I think he's staying all the way through to the final. Brilliant, what an experience. Yeah, I think that's the idea, he wants to see what it's all about at the to the final stages. Yes, do. You run. Oh, hold up quick. Just that. Thanks, Nicky. This sort of experience for, for a young player like that will be great. It'll really encourage him to play in more qualifiers and try and get here again. Come on, just get right past the red. Come on, all you've got, all you've got. And then Nick That's just two. making the trip, short ball. Two of it. I mean, Julie's that. So you can definitely get yeah. there. You can actually just either side of that as well, to be honest. Whip slightly easier that side. Yeah, probably. That's good enough. It's a very narrow line. Yeah, something's not right with this. Oh, it's easy done. Same ball as your last, get you another, Nick. Oh, a three here would really help to close the set down for Nick and Julie. Yeah, still a long way to go after this end. It's number seven, normally a key <coughs> end in a nine end set, but this is 11 ends, of course, so. You have to take these opportunities. <laughs> Needs to stop, though. Job back would help. Three shots, Brett and Forrest. Set score 2 9 after 7 ends. Twenty-eight and a half metres. Don't need that flag for the heat out right there. I'll tell you that it's more than warm enough.
played you. Great start again. And then the service resumed. He just played one ball to two feet, one ball to three feet, and the rest have all been inside that. Good mate, hold on. Play if you want. What do you think? I yeah. mean, I, I miss, if I'm missing the line by that, I'm yeah. gone, aren't I? Yeah, when you're and set, you're set by, play that shit. Okay. Yeah, time for a change. I think that's the right thing to do. It's like Absolutely. you were saying earlier, Shan, yeah. you don't have to change. If it's not going well, you just switch across. It gets in your head otherwise, doesn't it? And then you just you feel like you're just wasting ends if you're missing it by fine margins, but it's going across the rink. The bowls aren't really in play. Just better to start again on another side. And that was a great line. Good yeah, good ball. Well done. Good choice. Yeah, I think that will convince them to start okay. off on that side the next time in this direction. Stuart because he would have been hoping to play beforehand. I, I reckon you the closest you can with this one. If you draw the shot brilliant, if you get two seconds we can go for it. Must do. Drop now. Drop good effort hands. here. Very good, Stuart. Can he good bend? stuff. Yeah, exactly good what Kerry and asked for. Another good second. Gives him a chance for the final delivery. Shot. Jack goes in a ditch for Kerry. Oh, that could yeah. be the shot now. Uh, if the ball comes with it. We've got two seconds now. Kerry Anderson is going to run with it next time. Well. <laughs> Two seconds. Nick's on good form today he, with the old humour. Yeah, he's enjoying oh, right. himself, you I can tell. Another one in there, I oh, he's very sharp today. I was wondering whenever Kayan said that to get a second you can run it. You really normally wouldn't say that, but it was pretty obvious what was going to happen. I don't think there was any secrets given away on that one. Drops it in. Mm, oh. Good ball, Nick. Played that very well. Nice little bonus to make two out of it as well. <laughs> Just coming in nicely, sitting off the back red bowl, sitting down to make a second shot. I think so. Go for it. You get him on the way through. Take that danger away. can't really be worse off if he ploughs into this. No, and I think given the score, it's, it's, you've got to take the chance. We wanted to score this end. Oh, Strong oh, drive. Wait, oh. oh, wow. That was very close indeed. I was looking at that because now Stuart's very good when he, he knows when he's close. Yeah, he liked it right up to the last second. Two shots, Preston Forest. His reaction was enough for me to say he's got the edge of something. Set score, 2 11 after 8 ends. So, three ends to go. 
Nine shot pickup needed. Can be done. Doesn't be very likely in this particular set, but uh, we've seen it done before. Well, I'm not sure what happened there, Jumping, Judy. 25 Nick want a short track length? Not that short, I don't think. Imagine why they would go right, short, now. but when well the lead's played. playing this well, well you don't done. really care much, do you? Just a pace, line's really good. Oh, I've got chalk in there. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Real good. That's really good. Judy Potter. Her usual seat. Very colourful jacket, as always. Mm. And that'll go. Have a floral go. theme going on there, I think, Shan. Yep, very bright. She always looks the part, doesn't she, Judy? One green. Go, Nicky. Go, Nicky. Very good from Nick Brett. Just tucking that jack round as well as a bonus. going to draw it, is he? No, not the way that's sitting. <coughs> no, it's just going under as well. He's got something. He's One gone. Gone. Well gone. Okay, Steve. Need a little bit more room if he did want the draw now. He's got the best back ball. It's closer second with the back ball there, actually. So okay. if it does go, it could still get second shot. We can still get the shot, I should say. Mm, we okay. favour it might be second to red. Yeah, with that sort of space around it, you can afford to be you know, 18 inches away, get a good ball and still score. Inside that. Oh, he's run through in that second oh, now, definitely. Lucky. Definitely second yeah. now. He's just over the weight, a bit stay. less than that. Yeah, you got it. In the bolt. Dead. Looking for the two, he's very close, just the bolt. Great effort, Stuart. It didn't really move. No. One. Well, One. short jack links. Yeah. Hard to get One back. Set, You're fishing down on a tight line, and he's having to play quite a few of those types of bowls. Again. The joy of the sets game. There's two battles that make up the war. Oh. 
sort of length that we're going to be looking for. Stuart Anderson's well down the rink. Must be looking for something round about the 28, 29 mark. Twenty nine and a half. Full length. Go on. What is your one here? Oh, this is good. Right Come on, Kerry, right, right up here. Very good now. Much better start from Kerry and Glenn. Well done. All the way back now. Great start again, Yuri. Well played. Very good reply as well. <laughs> Met that dog on the way in earlier. It's a bit of a beastie, but a lovely one. Loves a little stroke on the head. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Draw. Draw. Here you coming now. Just hang by the front, can you? Oh, nearly. Just underneath that. You had to wait, I think. But, uh, it's looking very tight now. And it'll be one of these rare occasions and uh, where Nick Brett might have to go searching for the first bowl. Interesting choice of shot. Yeah, just upped him for the draw. Just length of forehand. Well, that's that's it. Hey, Problem being that far down the rink is that position's minimal. Being behind the jack, you've always got a chance. But you might be forced to draw again. It's up even to touch something, but it's well, that's not well, like Stuart Anderson yeah. either. I begin to think there might be uh, fast and slow runs on the rink that can happen on the indoor surface, especially with a new underlay. Not out on the track, I don't think. Uh, I don't want to be hitting the red one no. either, we're not that red, it doesn't matter, but goodness me, no adjustment made. <laughs> Close. Okay. It's funny when you see that chance, sometimes you just get the impression that if you push the ball out it gets a faster run, you go a little bit low on it for some reason, quite often we don't know why, it just bogs down slightly. I think there's definitely some quirks this year, I mean all the players have mentioning it, different runs and different lines. Even more to think about than normal, basically. I always like to see the metal calipers come out. Alan Thornhill will sort this out. Not 
two bookends there, look. We've had an argument. Well, Alan said to me he'll try and be quicker on his measures <laughs> from yesterday because it was a very tight one to end up on a new score. And uh, this is looking very similar. Two well, shots and a single. It was two. Committed to the two this time. Carrie Ann did say straight away that she fancied two. It was very, very tight. Length, twenty nine meters. Just ease up a touch. Ease in a touch. Good old man. Good old man. Key here will be can Julie Forrest keep yeah, her standard yeah, of play going in, 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 in the second yeah, set? And well, she would go off a little bit, Carrie Ann comes into it, and all yeah. of a sudden it changes. If you don't like, I'm happy if you change over. That's where that changeover is, Sean, isn't it? You know, suddenly you play so well the first set and start off a bit looser in the second and the other lead comes right back into it. Kerry on the last three ends, she's found the pace better, all of her bowls, so yeah, she just needs to keep that up now. Steady. Steady, steady, steady. Great ball. Well done, Julie Forrest. Julie hasn't heard the script. <laughs> the way that ball's tucked right behind the jack as well. <laughs> Nick Brett, it All wasn't the, the wee round. tap this time, he, he shook her hand. Brilliant ball. Another ball again. <laughs> You normally get a little tap on the way past with Nick, but uh, he actually shook around on this one. Thanks that you do. It's a difficult one to get out of if you're not going to go chasing it. No real draw shot available. Stop. Just I was looking just to tap the red or just get past it the same as Julie did. Uh -huh. That's another good ball in the head. Yeah, no. That's good. <laughs> Nick Brett. He's, he's so quick off the mat, isn't he? Just goes. <laughs> Stuart's got to be tempted for that bowl now. Oh, I think he has to. He's crying out for it. I think the difficulty is, and there's a short bowl there, it's just hard to get the green bowl out. You can get a line coming down this way, that, that's very possible. And if it, it gets on a line and it hits into this bowl, the jack will move. But oh, it's, it's, it's narrow. Must do. Big ball. The forehand's possible. Get underneath, you might get the green bowl out clean. Yeah, he's going backhand because it's a wider target. And the bowl goes clean, doesn't it? Tell you what. No, it's going away. Dived yeah. under now. Yep, he knows it. Okay, great eyes for Stuart. Yeah, he knew it. Shot. Oh, no. Take the one or? No, you can okay. draw this. <laughs> Take the one, no. <laughs> Should you draw it? 
That's you told, Nicky. Yeah, we've seen what you're capable of, Nick. That's the problem. You'll get another shot. Come on, you can do this. Don't argue with me. I'm from Hoyk and the borders. You do what you're told. I love that. No. <laughs> Giving it a chance as well. Just to make the oh, trip. he's not going to make the two, is he? He's not going to make it, is he? Oh, what an effort. The far wide, that was all. Oh, that would have been brilliant. One shot, Bracken Forest. What a letdown. <laughs> no tick tock there, Nicky. <laughs> Set score 2 1 after two ends. <laughs> That's how much confidence I've got in you, you see? <laughs> That's expected. Big crowd in to Waters Resort for this. And I have to say, it's probably one of the best mixed that players finals I've seen things. for a while, certainly. Quality of play has been very, very high in terms of the way the green pair have been playing. And red are starting to come back into it, so I think this second set's going to be interesting. It's uh, but the score, well, 12-2, but, you know, that didn't really reflect all of the play. Stay right up. Stay up. Great start again, Jim. Great. And the atmosphere and the humour of the game, I think, is, uh, is what I was really referring to. I think people like to watch the pairs as well because it's a completely different, obviously it's a completely yeah. different game, but it's the interaction between the players as well and it's, it's appealing to watch, isn't it? Get to see a little bit of their personalities too. Hope I've pushed that. How do I? <laughs> I've pushed it. We'll Keep find running. out very soon. Not too bad. Not quite, but it's pretty good. Well done. It's a good bit, It's a shot anyway. Just play it. Please have a small there. Just drift inside the boy there, What's the shot. way to scale while they're inside line? What am I looking for? Yeah, foot, yeah. Oh, yeah, foot. Carry on like this. Well, Coming well. Drop, bit, drop now. Can you drop hang now. around? Can it hang around? Yeah, yeah, well done. The weight was so good. She just needed to miss that front green. Breaks under it nicely. Little touch of the jack, just make sure. Yeah, it's. It's good for Nick Brett in some respects in that it's dropped down onto the green ball. That means that plant is there to punch it out. Jack through. Well, you never know where it's going to finish. But this is worth arriving at. Oh, he's coming around it. Will he draw the shot with this? We he's only going to draw yeah, the shot. He's drawn the well shot. Done, Nick. Didn't even think about playing the runner. Just navigated his way around the shorter green bolt. Yeah. Yes, do. Very good bolt. Yes, do. Close with this. Yes, do. Close with the bow. He's got the jack. Oh, that's good well, good enough. Yeah. That's put it into a tricky Shot position. A bit of both there, got jack and bowl, but finish well. Mm, be careful with this one because you can drop short very easily. Come on, Nicky, keep running. Needs to run. Yeah, it's so easy to drop three or four feet short in that four house. We've seen it many, many times. 
comes out of the hand, you think it's good. Of an effort Stay here. Get used to him. hold past it. Yeah, yes, that's Stuart. a great ball. Two brilliant, Two brilliant balls from Stuart Anderson there. Made the conversion, then added another. Two shots, Anderson Clay. Good also helps from, with, the conf uh, with the confidence. So score four, one, I was going to say, good end from both Kerry and Stuart there. Much stronger. Just skated past that front bolt. Push through it. Yeah, Thank you, Eric. Great start again. Just up, but great effort though. <laughs> and again, all the bending you can now. All the bending you can. Well played, Julie. Well done. Yep, anything behind the jack was good. Two good balls. Two green. They'll have a quick chat, but I think this will be a running ball. Okay. Kerry, I'm just saying two bowls can go. Yeah, it, there's, the only danger is taking your own ball out, and 
it's going to cost you probably four unless you make a contact with something else but he would be unlucky to take that out yes Dave I have a feeling Stu thought that was close. I thought that was close. Is it the other way? It looked really now? good oh. from where we sit. Well, you drew, up, you drew it on the back Just hand, didn't really on the move. forehand the last time. It's up to you. Probably means I can't do it again. <laughs> Just feathered that bowl, turning it over. But it was very, very close well, to that target to get that kind of result. It was unlucky. And Nicky playing on the safer side here, but also he's got a chance of moving the jack. Well, the forehand was wide open for him, to be truthful, but... He's good here. He wants the jack, though, to make a four. Well played, Nick. Oh, so close. Didn't want the little touch in his front bowl, but three is excellent. Three shots, Bracken Forest. Nick just coming in. Set score, four, four. Catches the front ends. green bowl, which takes the weight off three shots and puts them right back into this set at four all after four ends. Twenty-six and a half metres. Just run a bit. Very few that she's dropped short. Yep, chance for Kerry Ann to get in here with her first bolt. Two feet, maybe just over, but not much. <coughs> just run for us. Just run for this one. Well done. She well made done. the correction. One yard. One yard. Carrie might have changed her hand really, played on the forehand. It's wide open. Start swinging. If she's up, she's got a chance with she's this. Played this well. Yeah. Yeah. Needs to hurry now. Because of the green ball, pushed it out wider, and it, the ball was actually coming back very nicely, but just didn't have the extra pace to carry it. On green. tight as possible. Yeah. Six inches, is it? Mm, you're 
really don't want to be giving the shot away. Oh, well, you did with that, you know, you didn't come into that, you were just round it. Mm, if, I sit in, if I sit him down, will he be shot? No. But there is an option of playing that, and if you touch that ball, obviously that's got to come here and you'll find yourself. It's your choice. This one sounds easy, I'll try this one. The back end looks nice, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Just waiting for the quip there from Nicky was bound to say something about what Julie described. But I think this is the right shot to play. I think the percentages are here. Much less danger. Unless he clatters into this outside one, but too much weight to worry about that. Well, that ball could be useful. It's a it's a tight set this. The the bowling's changed a little bit and you have to be very careful here, you don't want to give any more away. I feel like the backhand's dangerous for Stu here. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see him on the forehand. Just trying to come on to the green bolt. On their own bowls there as well, isn't it? To bring in. Stu? Now drop. Not coming. Yeah. Just, it just it doesn't get back. It's so hard. It's one of the hardest shots. I, th I think that was a wise decision, though, because they had identified sure. green on the red, green on the jack, we're losing three. Yes, absolutely. Had to play that. Set score 4 5 after 5 ends. So, a long way to go in the second set. Six more ends. Nick Brett, Julie Forrest, well, they can afford to draw the set, but the Glenn and Anderson combination have to win it to force the tie break. Jack Link, 29. Still meters. a long way to go. Great starter again. Well done. Brilliant again from Julie Forrest. She's really put Kerry Ann under pressure right from the off here and kept the momentum going. A couple of looser ends, but she's played incredibly well. Come on, big effort here. Wait up. Right up. Very good. Very good reply as well. Same ball, mate. And run to finish it off. And run. And run. He's good at judging, so he well must know what's close. Well yeah. well again, again. Run, run. 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 We talk to the balls, as you know, Shan. We do. It's absolutely pointless, but we still do it. Yeah. yeah. Just frustration, that sort of noise from Kerry on there. Just wanted to have that two foot more. Yeah. Anything behind the jack at the moment is going to be a useful ball. Mm, don't want to get back into it, though, do I? Yeah, anything short, not good. Nick can stay away from this and play cover balls. He was doing a lot of that in the first set, playing cover balls. Might as well do it again. Safer around here, I think. 
to green. Just stay away from the head. It's safer down the back can because Penny's got no risk of touching Julie's bowls and springing the jack. to hurry. I've got Nicky. I've got right now. Wow. I'm surprised he played that to be honest. I'm not convinced he was playing for an extra shot he there. He wasn't. He was he just trying to come yeah. slightly behind. Just a yard short of what he really wanted. Yeah. Stuart was always going to attack it and the Jack's always going to go back. So short balls are no real value. Get it. Yep. Yeah. Very there good go. That's Maximum that's, result. That's where the green ball was meant to be. Yeah. Stuart played that really well. Jack's just that behind the tee. Yeah. So it's the same line with an extra four or five feet on it. Not very wide. No, you're not very wide at all, so this has to hang, hang on. About. That definitely helped. Not sure it was enough though. Sorry. It looks like it's still red. Oh, it's close. I think we went down. Down to down, down to the road. Just a double check. <coughs> it's still red. I think it's just a draw either way. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> We've played this across his body, which is a very flat line. For this. a flat line, yeah. So he's All about the it. connection of this front green. Oh, he's green. got the edge as well. Yeah. Well. The weight was good for the job. It just, yeah. yeah. Definitely needed that little bit of help. Yeah, I think the, the two balls got a little bit of help. <laughs> Clipping this green front ball, straightening himself out. Fairly solid clip, but he was probably going to get onto the shot green ball anyway. Go a little box measure. It's a very traditional piece of equipment in the bowls world. Little locking mechanism. Been around for a long time. Yeah, I don't like getting out. One shot, and a single left. Set score, 5-5 five, five after five ends. Apologies, six ends. I was going to say, I've done six. <laughs> It's amazing when you lose the first set 12-2, you're five all in the second set, you win it by one shot and everything's little. Yeah, that's the, well, it depends on which way, you, which side you are, the beauty or the frustration about the sets play, the, the score line can be vastly different and you still end up in a tie break. Kerry ann just losing that jack. Yes, looking for a long head, losing the jack, but... <laughs> Previous games we've seen that happen so often. I do wonder if it's a fast run just in that last foot or so. Almost looks to me like it, it seems to increase in pace. Jack Lane, 27 metres.
Tiene P. Decent here. Good start. Well played, carry on. It's up to you, mate. It probably is in the line, but I'm happy for you to still play that hand because you played it so well. And stick with the backhand because a lot of balls went dropping short when you change over. Play your first one, try and get close. It's a shot ball. Deep running now. Needs to run a little bit. And again. Just know up. Well, that's almost close to head down now on that side for Just Julie. Shot of Jack Next one will need to be on the forehand. Stop. That's okay. Well done. Very good. Good buzz. Well done. I think that stopped sooner than Stuart. I was going to say, Stuart was talking yeah. as if it was sort of four feet three, but yeah, two really good balls from Kerry and Glenn. Much, much stronger in this second set. Oh, that's no doubt about that. And made all the difference with the score, too. Julie sticking on the backhand. Run away for us now. So trying to get Mr. around this short really ball. Really giving us a chance, Corky. Oh, she's she's on the shot. This. Oh, come on. Brilliant. Really? Oh, dear me. I thought that hand was dead to her, to be truthful with you, but goodness me, what a ball. Even Stuart Anderson saying well played to that one. Fine. He's just bending in to tuck him around the corner. Such a good bolt. Weight was perfect. Yeah, it didn't even look possible. <laughs> Coming down now. Just yeah. over it. Good, wait for it. Good ball though. Another receiving ball. Interesting, he's playing the forehand here because a same ball as Stuart Anderson would be very good. Just trying to get there first. Come on, Nikki. Come on, keep coming. Bend a lot. Yeah, keep needs coming. to hurry too. Well. <laughs> It's behind the jack enough that it's not a shoulder really to come off. You might get off it and fall back on the jack, but what a green. he needed another 18 inches to be perfect. Gives Stuart Anderson another chance, though. Turn of the jack for three. watching this one needs to move now just on the outside of the line just he's waving there you could see him and he, he just doesn't really understand why I didn't get back a lot of those balls would normally get back on a in previous years Twenty-nine 
Display of leading from Julie Forrest. Did you see games change around so quickly? As you know, Sean, you know, the, the players have been playing so well, just eases off the pedal a little bit. The opposition then can come back into it. But there's no sign of it at the moment from Julie. Maybe a bit heavier this time, Nicky. Well, you're flying with the first one. <laughs> right she was actually over it, and that's really good touch if you know that. Not so. too bad. Well done. Yeah. Don't pace now. It looks good. back here. Up yet, up yet. This is good. Very good. What an effort that was. Yes, yeah, she knew it was good. I think she knew it was as well. But Nick could be on the forehand trying to reach that ball. Yeah, she did connect with the jack. Finished jack high. It's opened the ball up for Stuart Anderson as well if he gets a chance to uh, get into it. Frame this if he makes the length. Right. Uh, probably go at it now. No reason not to. Back it there, Stu. Connection there gets two of them, and you've got to at least move the jack a little bit. Fun, ma. Eh? Fun, mate. Yeah, I think so. Actually, let me have a think about this a sec. <laughs> Have a look. I think you should, should have a look at this one. Not allowed. Oh, you're not allowed. Okay, then. I'll go quick. I'll go quicker. It's not allowed. It's down look, to you, Gary. Okay. I, well. I think I would just that. let him play his own game in this one because uh, he'll pick this weight to, to hit the target. I know he asked yeah. what weight, but. Halt! Halt! Just undertake it. That That's okay. Well, he took his own out, but. Get the next. You know, it's. Similar. I think it's one of those ones where, you know, if the skip's asking what weight, you sort of think, well, whatever weight that you feel comfortable with, as long as you hit the target. And he was very close to getting what he wanted. Trouble is now there's no position and they're three down. And there's a green ball in Come the on, ditch. Ben, yep. Which is the toucher, so that's why it stays there. It's got to be a draw. So, so. Damage limitation, there's the toucher. Damage limitation, draw the shot, draw second. Well, he's interested. Yeah, he's giving us a look. Needs to connect with something. One off. Two shots, Brecon Forest. Set score, 5-8, after 8 hits. <laughs> Jack Lake, 28 and a half metres. If the jack's not running and looks like it's going in the ditch, the marker will lift the jack and put it to the three metre line just in case anyone's wondering why he lifts it when it's still on forward movement. That's the reason why. 
you can come in all you can. And again. And again. Yeah, decent. Well done. Well done. a bit heavy there but getting the ball was good it wasn't much over though no I mean we're talking very fine margins alright you want to escape you only have to say let's push this <laughs> Still on the Big rink, rink though. And the jack can be pulled back. There's just that extra push needed in that forehand. I've got. It's the band. And go. And again. And again. Good and enough. Good That's good. Tempted for the white here. Jack in the ditch. Do you want to play? Yeah. yeah. I think that's what he's thinking, you know. That's where the back ball comes in. That's what you were saying earlier. If the skip sees something and feels confident in playing it, you're kind of best to let him, yeah. let him have a go. Yeah. Drop. He's Drop. very, very yes. close. He's got the jack. Yes. What a ball, Stuart Anderson. Yep. And there's that back red ball sitting there. I, I think that was the thing with whenever the back one came through from Kirian, you sort of think he has to use this. Yeah, he called it. He wanted to play it. Executed it really well. <laughs> It's a tricky one. Not desperately close, but no matter where he puts this ball, Stuart Anderson will be after it if it's closer than the other two. But he has to go out wide, and you're not quite sure if it's going to get a flyer out there. Oh, really? Oh. Nick and Brett at his best. Very well played. Stuart's clapping as well. He can't, he oh. can't really not, can you? Well, he, he, Stuart would know the difficulty of that shot, but... Yeah, tight no to the ditch for Nicky, really. Needed all of that line. And it's finished banging line with the jack, too. Yeah. There's no argument but about what Stuart's playing now, and he's, he's interested. Quick. Hurry, he's got it. Yep. yep. Two shots. What a great end of bowls for the skips in particular. That was the only problem with Nick's ball. It looked great, but actually something almost half a yard or two feet short would have been the shot and almost better. Yeah, the thing is, um, Stuart was going to be going for the ball wherever Nick so put it, wasn't it? It's just to get it that close was a hell of a ball. You take your chance and hope he misses. Put, put your leg. What? Put your yeah. leg. Well, it's right back in it now. Really, this is coming out to be a really tight game now. I Two ends to go. Anderson and Glenn need to win the set. Two big balls there from Stuart Anderson. Had to play a lot of conversions in this match. Jack Lake, 26 and a half metres. The 
something you've got here. Hurry. The wings all over it. I know. Two feet. Okay. And all the way back to the just over, I think. Run in. No, that's all right. It's all about weight, the line's good. Needs to just miss this front one. Hurry. Hey team, I think you are the shot at the moment, so similar will be handy. <laughs> yeah, similar bowl, if you drop a foot, it's a bonus. Right back. Right All back over to this. You. Right back. Julie Force has been just so good in this match. It's arguably the best I've seen her play. Well, and I think what's so impressive is to keep the momentum and that standard up in two 11 end sets. You know, she, she hasn't faltered at all. She's played really, really well. And yet, they're only one in front in the second set. All about this man now. He has to get the shot. Down, Stu. Drop. Good effort, Stu. Yep. It's almost worthwhile Nicky Brett not going too close to this because he has got the last ball. Come on, Nicky, I've got If he misses the jack, it's brilliant. Nick didn't get the memo for that, Corky. Oh, well, hmm. It's really good, don't get me wrong. In another six inches, it would have been brilliant. I know what you're saying. Before he bowled that ball, it was more of a one bowl target, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, the, the tricky thing for Stuart Anderson is the front two bowls. And we can't lose two here. If he loses two, they're looking at a four in the last end. And so this is, this is vital. Mm. Well, got it away beautifully as Stu does with his delivery. This is really close. Has he got the pace? He has. What a bowl. What a bowl. Oh, and that's what I was talking about, why Nick shouldn't have been close to it. He offered that chance up. I think Stu would have probably played the same ball anyway, but it just give him a wider target. Yeah, and psychologically, you know that you've got that bowl to, to use or to rest on. One red. I mean, look at this. It just inch perfect. That could win them the game. That was a fantastic bowl. Just nestle in. He made connection with the two green as well. Oh, yeah. Nicky. I think that could win them the game. Oh. One, Stuart. One shot and a They're now going into the last end. Instead of looking for a four, they're looking for a one. Set score, eight, eight, after ten ends. Stuart Anderson has played some mercurial shots in this match. He really has. But all of a sudden, from looking out, one end to go. Really 
in. All right. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. Come on, bring this up is here. a good start from Kerry Ann. Good start. Well done. <laughs> bit wide, I think. Oh, this has got a, a bit of travel to make back. Go. Yep, just over. One foot. Go on. I think the pace is better here. Just bend. Stuart's just said Ben, but it's coming in Jack High. Jack High? That's half a ball pass, the last. This isn't easy because you're trying not to go too wide. You know if you're tight, you're going to hit the red ball in. This is a brilliant effort. Hang around. And she's sliding. Well done. Mm, don't know if it's a shot though. Yeah. Good ball, Nick said, but we're not sure. Judy's just picking up the slightest touch of the jack, finishing level on the other side. Damn, damn blur has been asked. I was going to say, do we? Very close. Nick Stuart Anderson's asked Dan Blood, who's lying? One each. <laughs> <laughs> one each. We'll settle for one each. A no score would be perfect. Because Red has to win. That's very close. Almost better without the touch than the jack, actually. Measure shot. Yeah, I think I think you know not only is Dan right, but also you know you're talking about a situation where you have to play it as if it's against you. Stuart likes this. Well, he's certainly interested. He's very close here. Needs to hurry though. He's not Just he's under. Not quite there. Yeah. An extra two feet of running, that mm. would have been right on it. Well, that looks very narrow from Nick. He's got a bit of pace on it though. Yep. Come on, Nicky, He's got a good one here. Run. 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 Run the shot. Well, it's dropped away. And I think Kerry Ann thinks she's lying. Slightly different. No, no, no. This but they're very fine. And if I can get really close in. Stuart still has to play this as if he's one down. Simple as that. 
I think it might be one to red, actually. It's so close, but my rings are just slightly different. You don't want to be taking the chance if you're no. down there, though, do you? No, you just, you just don't. He's got the line, slight increase, and it will do the job. Well, we're Paxton just waiting for his match. He's very close yeah. here. So close, he needs to move now. He has. What a ball. That is a shot. Well played, Stuart Anderson. Wow, no touch to the jack either because that could have been enough to give it away. But I think Nick Brett will play this on the forehand. He could play the backhand, but he's got a forehand runner available to him. And Stuart didn't touch anything. Nope. Backhand's there to come off the outside ball, but it holds off on that backhand. The forehand, he's got balls to punch into the jack because he has the back position. It's got to be forehand because this is any tough. jack movement is favourable for green. Yeah, this, this is tough, it really is. It's gone quick. Very close, Corky. Needs to hold. Oh, oh we're well, back to the measure. Might be enough. It's back to the measure again, and Kerry Ann thought she was lying. So <laughs> Nick Brett's walking down the other end, so he's not convinced. Kerry Ann and Stewart are quite confident, I think, that it's theirs. Yeah, they seem to be. Yeah, so so Nick makes contact with the front red bowl first, which means that the bowl's rattled around, wanted the green solid. Yeah, the green solid was guaranteeing the championship. As it is, I think we're going to be into a tie break. Which, to be honest, when you look at Nick just shaking his head, to be fair, this game's going to be level. Thinking the way both Nicky Brett and Julie Forrest in particular has played. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And a 10-shot ten, ten win on the first set. Let Julie call it. She's earned it. Oh yeah, it was actually there was actually, he didn't even need to work at it. It was red ball. Wow, you wouldn't have called this even three, eight, four ends ago. It just didn't look possible. She got the toss. It's giving the jack. It's carrying out in the first end. Give them a bark. So tie break set. Whoever wins the toss has got the choice. Yeah. Yeah. Grab the hill full. Yeah. yeah. You always, well not always, but most of the time the player will want the last ball. Just a matter of winning the end. Accumulated shots do not count. They do in other competitions around the world, but certainly not in this one. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. But this has been a great final for lots of reasons. A lot of tension in that second set. A lot of great balls in the first set, in particular, from Julie Forrest. This crowd have had a real good day out with this one. And adjust that line spot on. One yard. Nicky knew that was just a little bit on the inside, didn't say too much. Settle here. Settle in. Settle here. Better. Oh, very good. A good correction 
Uh, maybe, maybe not wide enough, Nikki. Yeah. Nah. It's going to go under. Keep running yet? She knew that. Needed extra weight on it. Uh, well done. Too bad. Hold on. One right. Well, which is a big help. Yep, and it, it didn't make Jack high, which makes it even more difficult. He's going to have to just try and reach this, and that's always difficult. Yeah, he's playing the reaching ball. It's never easy to get back on that hand. He's got it. He's got something. Oh, wow, both balls. Yeah, got the two of them. Big result. Still plenty of room, of course. Maximum result. Makes contact with the shot ball, but also flicks a second through on the way. It's a hard shot in that hand. Well, fancy Stuart Anderson will draw this because he's trotting up after it. That's the only reason. Doesn't trot up unless he thinks yes, he's Stuart. close. Run. 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 You're in. You're in. That's well good done. enough. Brilliant. Good enough for shot. Just about well crawled up. But Nick has to play this. He might he might change his hand on this. If he plays the backhand, he's got his own bowl to bring in. Yeah. I'll come across to the shot bowl. Flick the jack across to the respot, but well he's playing the forehand, but he's probably playing the same shot. Again, it's just this forehand's tricky. Close, Nicky. Solid. It's all on the it. connection. Yeah. Got yeah, it. Played it perfectly. Yeah. No jack connection. That was the key. Well, that was two brilliant balls because that is definitely not easy with that controlled weight. Crowd have responded to that as well. Yeah, rightly so. I mean, Nick had to just get the ball here. He didn't want any jack connection. Got it solid. Punched it right through the head to leave the, to the two green balls. No, Stuart Anderson has the last ball in the second end. Jack Lake, 27 and a half metres. Getting here a bit quick with this one. Now, That's through the head. Good start. 14 inches. Oh, drop back. Just a reach, mate. Side scale. Six or eight inches, mate. We we'll bet. Hope I've not took too much off there. Me too. <laughs> run now. Run. Run, run you. Run, run, what run about indeed, run. because she's very close. Run, run. Well, Julie Forrest started off like this and has finished off like this. She's had a tremendous game. Yeah, 
She's really piled the pressure on Kerry and Glenn. No, I think I can draw it there. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, you know I think you're right, Kerry. I, I think you should that, be drawing it. Giving you something okay. on the website. Okay. Yep. Happy. Spot on. Because even if you're if you're not going to get the shot, you might get a good second, or you might just drop in. So there's two or three chances here. You're on a good track. It's all about weight. Just reach, mate. Just to hurry. Just yeah, not get in there. Spot. Yep. Well, it's a bit of a barrier that one for Sorry. the forehand now. But Nick has to be careful here. He doesn't want to widen this target. It's a really good position to be in. Oh, he had a chance to be winning. Well, too great. <laughs> the last set and uh, left an open situation. But I, I'm just looking at the area here that Julie's Forest is sort of standing. He's sort of saying, well, if you get to there, that's a good receiving position. And I think that would be excellent. But I really don't think it's worth going near it. He's certainly out on the wide side. Yeah, I think he might go a bit deeper. Yeah, just a bit further on than what I was thinking, but still good. Because Stuart has does to move. Does a couple of jobs, doesn't it? Yeah, Stuart has to be into this with the first one. Yeah, that's why he's playing weight. Needs to make a good contact for the two green balls. He's got connection. This is different now. How far, even how, even far do I need, how far do I need off my last? Don't shout, there's no, too many people listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of us listening, I can assure you, Nick. But he needs another ball in the head because the two green can disappear. He knows he needs a little bit of weight off. Uh, sorry. Gently, gently, is he too far? He is. He's too far. Hello. Green ball on the green ball. And we're into a third end. It's a symbol. Symbol. You can see the gap between the jack and the ball, Shan, so it's, you know, he could get this absolutely square. Sorry. He's played some great recovery balls in this match. This is all about the connection with the front ball. It needs a full connection. He's interested. Very close. Good effort, Stuart. That's it, all over. Thank you very much. We have a new mixed pairs champions, Julie Forrest and Nikki Brett. Well, that was absolutely brilliant by Julie Forrest and Nikki Brett. They played so well. And Kerry Ann and Stuart Anderson, well, they contributed greatly, especially the second set where they really competed. But these two players were absolutely brilliant. Probably, and that's Alex Julie Forrest's daughter. She can relax now for a while. But that's probably one of the best leading displays that I've ever seen in the, in the, in the mixed pairs. The game had it all, didn't it? It was exciting. We were great. The crowd were great. There were some excellent drawing balls and some brilliant conversions as well. Worthy um, winners, but a, a really high quality game. Absolutely. Yes, the crowd aren't moving simply because the presentation will be coming up very shortly and I think they want to show their appreciation really for this match. It was intriguing, even at 12-2 there were still things happening in the game but the atmosphere was great. We hope by Nick Brett and also with his little quips but these two players came out strong, the defending champions really were put up under a lot of pressure. And Nick Brett just kept adding to Julie Force. Good work at the front end. But it was this man, Stuart Anderson, that was playing the recovery balls. He was playing the saving balls to keep them in the game. 
And once again, Nick Brett showing that he's not there just to be a, a spare wheel. He was there to win things. And Julie Forrest played some brilliant balls, some balls that didn't even look possible. Oh, look at that. That was the save. That was the save of the match. Oh, what a ball. Unbelievable. And once again, a perfect ball. And that was to save the set. But he just on the high side on the last. And I think it's fair to say that the best pair won on the day. But the second set in particular, all four players contributed greatly to it. And you see the total score. Well, that's really the 12-2 the from the first, uh, first set. But a brilliant performance by Julie Forrest, particularly at lead. And Nick Brett was doing all the work after that. And he didn't do... He didn't really have to do too much, to be truthful with you. He was outstanding when he was needed. Terrific match, terrific entertainment on the Blue Rink here at Potters. All four players playing their part in entertaining us this afternoon. Kerry Ann, I know there's, just looking at your face, I know there's a, a, a fair amount of disappointment in there, but there must have been some enjoyment in taking part in a match of that quality in a final. Uh, I mean, first of all, I want to congratulate um, Julie and Nikki. Uh, what a fantastic lead performance from Julie. It was impeccable. Um, she really won it from the front. Um, I mean, a lot of people come here to see the singles, and it is the marquee event. But for me, this is my marquee event, because I adore trying to get the best out of other people. And I think the crowd really appreciate that. Um, but today, unfortunately, I wasn't there for Stu. And I, I think because Stu and Julie know each other so well, and there's such a fantastic rapport there, I think I just felt like a bit of an island on my own at times. And I just struggled with my confidence as a result. And, Hats off to Julie, she's a world-class performer and she took advantage of that, so well done, Julie. Pretty good on the mic as well, I have to say, after a <laughs> uh, performance. Um, I just want to say, obviously, you've got another chance against Julie tomorrow in the singles, so best of luck in that. Oh, I need it! <laughs> Um, Stuart, yesterday, obviously, a different story, a winner. Um, just describe the emotions today. Yeah, listen, you just need to take it in the chin. I think I'll need to get back to my room. I think I've got a bruise in my right leg for clapping all Julie's balls in, so <laughs> just... Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, it was just it was one of the days. Listen, we, we were a bit disappointed. We didn't get away to a good start, and we struggled away, but all credit for, to Nicky Angel in the first set. It's just it's refocusing, regrouping, second set. Probably didn't deserve to get the win, but we, we did, and that's all the joy set play. And then Nicky's popped me out first end, and that's... That's about it, really, and it's, yeah, disappointing, but we go another day. You will go another day, and, of course, the, the two of you defended the title with honour. Um, but you came up, as you say, against uh, a pair in fine form today. Um, Nicky, how much did you enjoy partnering Julie today? I'm really pleased I paid extra to get Julie as a partner, to be honest. <laughs> Well, it's worked. It's worked. And it's worth every penny, whatever you pay. And more. I mean, obviously, you're hearing from everybody, and everybody who watched today, she helped a lot. I mean, you played your part. There were some key moments in which you delivered as well. Um, there must be a great deal of satisfaction there. Oh, it, it, it's always nice to play in a world final, and I, you, know, you don't know how many more you're going to get, so I tried to enjoy it as best I could. And uh, there's no easier way of enjoying it than watching Julie roll them in. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, there are a whole host of examples throughout the match of amazing bowls that you've delivered today. In terms of your overall performances in pairs competition, where does this rank? I've, uh, <laughs> I've, I've come down here on this carpet and feel as I've never performed to the best of my ability, but today I've showed people what I can do when I'm playing back home. And it's, 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 a, it's a lead's dream to play like that, obviously, in live television. I mean, everybody dreams about doing that, and I'm just that thankful I was given that opportunity to do that. Well, it certainly entertained us, and you absolutely delivered. And you've said it before, I remember you saying a couple of times that you've played maybe in the singles, and you felt like you haven't quite delivered. So to do it today... Yeah. In the important moments, and we've actually got a, uh, one particular shot. I think it was uh, early on in the match. 
This was a shot. I don't know if you can remember this particular one. It was the second set at oh, the seventh yeah. end. And I drew round Kerry Ann's ball, and you would never think he could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. And in a singles game, you would never have played that shot. Well, but that just shows you. Good direction, I think. Yeah. Well, I was about to say one <laughs> other interesting aspect of the victory today was the. The, the, the bonhomie, the, the, the great joie de vivre that all four of you showed in, in discussing, I mean, entertaining us with all the little comments. Is it quite nice to be able to do that? Does that help in the pressure oh, situations when you can be a little bit more light-hearted? I mean, I'd say to Nikki before I came on, if I'm not performing, can I come and speak to you and just have a little moan and just see what happens? <laughs> okay, I mean, because you need that, you need that camaraderie between you. And yes, I've never played with Nikki before, but I, I know him because I've come here that often. Um, so it's nice just to be able to, um, it doesn't matter who we play with, it's good if you can get a connection with them. And as I said, I know Nicky, so I know I could joke with him and I wouldn't have a problem. So it's... Yeah, and, and you, you took the instructions very well, Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> I live with three women at home, I know my place. <laughs> Here, here. Uh, commiserations to Kerry Ann and to Stuart. Hopefully, we'll see you back here uh, doing your stuff tomorrow. Uh, but your champions, put your hands together for Julie Forrest and Nikki Brett. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your presentation party from Imagine Cruising Events Ex Executive Izzy Cowdery and from Potter's Resorts Marketing Director Mark Jones. <laughs> Continue that round of applause, ladies and gents, for your runners up, Kerry Ann Glenn and Stuart Anderson. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Imagine Cruising 2024 Mixed Pairs World Champions, Nick Brett and Julie Forrest. <laughs> Keep that applause going, ladies and gents, come on. Nick Brett and Julie Forrest, the 2024 Mixed Pairs World Champions. Well, there we go, folks. Wow, what a game and what a performance there from Julie Forrest and Nick Brett. That was absolutely breathtaking. Worthy winners and uh, what a great partnership that will be going into next year as the defending champions. So, hard act to follow, so let's have a look at what we have for the rest of the day. In about 10 or 15 minutes' time, we've got the World Open singles. It's Robert Paxton taking on the Scottish qualifier of Darren Weir. And then the game in the evening, 7.30, it's the English qualifier from Poole, John Wilson, taking on Stuart Anderson. We'll be back with you in about 10 minutes, so until then, bye-bye for now. to do anything like that. You know, the old days of the, the boring holiday are over, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen.